Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Brian. Today is Sunday, the day after Christmas. I've got one more video before this one to post, and um, that's going to be it for the year. I just don't have enough time to do any more videos for the year. I am actually leaving tomorrow, the 27th. When you see this, I'll be already on vacation. I'm going to go down to Florida until the second or the third, and then we're coming back. And then I am going to have a very, very busy life. I'm not sure how much I'm going to get to paint, so I'm going to try to get home and do a bunch of pieces so I'll have videos to post. But my little puppy, Angela, she's going to be giving birth around January 12th. She's getting fat, poor little thing. She's getting kind of miserable. Um, going up the steps, she can go up and down the steps, but she's not moving with the quickness that she used to. So um, I kind of feel bad for her. Um, we put her through this, poor thing. But in any case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep one of the puppies. We're gonna name him, uh, we're gonna keep a boy and we're gonna name him Stanley. For those of you who don't know, I already have three dogs ages three, two, and one. Sophia is three, Salvador is two, Angela is one and a half. She's gonna be two in a few months. So Salvador and Angela got together, so we're gonna have puppies. My puppies are named after Golden Girl characters. <laughs> so Sophia, of course, is Sophia, the grandmom, or the, the, the older lady in the house. Um, and then we have Salvador, who was married to Sophia. And then Angela was actually Sophia's sister in the show. And so we want another boy. We don't need four dogs. We need one, like, we need a hole in the head. But we're going to have a fourth one, and we're going to name him Stanley after Dorothy's husband in the show. Ex-husband, I should say, so... We're really excited about that, but that's really going to put a hamper on me because I've never uh, assisted a dog with having puppies. I've never been there when it's happened. So um, everybody I've talked to, all the books I've read, all the videos I've watched, I'm going to be a very, very busy person. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to get to paint. So what I'm going to do for today's piece, I'm trying out an experiment. I'm hoping it's going to work. I have got, um, I'm going to do four cups of straight pours and I'm going to wreck each cup after it's poured out, but I'm also going to have a continuous gold line that's going to go in between the four pours. Um, I'm practicing a couple of techniques. I'm still working on uh, my friend's uh, triptych ideas so what i want to do so she really really wants this uh have a gold um presence in the painting but also kind of like a gold line that kind of moves between the triptych so what i want to do is i want to practice on this one so i'll give you a better idea once i get you down on the canvas and we'll talk about the canvas size and we'll talk about the colors all right i'll be right back <music> Okay, so what we've got today is a 24 by 30 canvas. I've got it uh, taped and push pinned on the back. I also painted my edges with Prussian blue from Amsterdam. The colors I'm using today are going to be Liquitex Basics in the Adoxazine Purple. I'm using Pebeo Studio Acrylics in the Violet Blue. I'm using Deco Art Extreme Sheen in the Aquamarine. I'm using 24 karat gold and the Deco Arts Americana Metallics. I'm also using Deco Arts Americana Decor Metallics in the uh, Deep Sapphire. And then I've got a tub of paint that were drips. And it's kind of in between the sapphire and a Prussian blue. So, and that's this one here. All of my paints are mixed with Mix, which you can get from Krista Rasmussen at Krista8974 at gmail.com. So what I'm going to do with this is the idea is I want to pour a line of gold right about here in the left-hand side, bottom corner, and just kind of make a line through here dividing the canvas. And then I'm going to put four straight cup pours and I'm thinking I might even put a 
gold line through here, kind of dividing these up so that they're in four corners. Then I'm going to tilt them out. The idea is, is be able to tilt out the puddles, but keeping this gold line in between them. I don't know if it's gonna work. We're gonna give it a try. So let's move. So what we're gonna need is about 26 ounces of paint. So I'm gonna do four cups, and these are nine ounce cups, so I'm gonna fill them up almost to the top. Um, you only really need about seven ounces, six and a half, seven ounces per cup. So it's only nine, so knowing me, I'll probably end up filling it up. Um, my mix is uh, mixed with seven ounces of mix to about one and a half ounces of paint. And then I've used a little bit of water. Some of these are, uh, one of my couple of colors um, are Liquitex gloss pouring medium rather than just waste it or have it sitting around. I figured I would use both. So it doesn't hurt anything to uh, use both. All right, so let's give this a run. And I think I'm gonna layer the colors differently each time, we'll see. So there's one. So now we're gonna start backwards. All right, I think I'm gonna get pretty messy with this. This is a large canvas and I think it's gonna start getting a little dirty. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my uh, colors that I had mixed, that I scraped off my table as my flow extender. Now what I would like to do is 
figure out how I'm gonna do this gold. Now we're gonna pour our paints right here in, the, in each section. One, two, three, four. Let's torch this off, get the air bubbles out of here. do is give a little bit of flow extender here actually I don't think I'm gonna do a flow extender because I don't want the paint to eat up the gold maybe I will over here So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the paint this way first. Let's start tilting.
Okay, I'm going to leave this right where it is. I like how things have opened up. I'm loving the gold lines through it. It, ex it did exactly what I was trying to do. I wanted to keep all four pores separated and this violet blue and the dioxazine purple are playing so good together along with the aquamarine. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch up my sides and edges. I got some areas that didn't quite get coated, so I'll fix that up and then I'll bring you in. I'm gonna bring you down and I'll show you this wet result. I'll be right back. Here we are with the wet result. I absolutely love this and this just gives me a new idea on how I can do my friend's triptych. Um, doing four pours was very difficult to tilt out. Kind of hard to keep what I want and what I don't want. I'm trying to figure that out, you know. All right, I'll bring you in here for a close up. We'll start here in the top left hand corner.
This really came out stunning, everyone. I love this piece so, so much. So unfortunately, I cannot show you the dried result and it's gonna be probably after January 1st before I can do that because it is not gonna be dry by tomorrow morning when it's time for me to leave on the Monday the 27th. So this is gonna be it. I do apologize, but I will show you the dried result in the next video the post. All right, everyone. Everyone have a wonderful, happy holiday season. Christmas has passed, so I hope everybody had a very Merry Christmas. I hope everyone has a safe and fun New Year's. If you're celebrating, great. Just be out there. Be careful. Be safe. I love every single one of you who help in supporting my channel. You just have no idea of what it means to me. Thank you so, so much. All right, everyone. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.